Hey everyone, it's Ongler. Welcome to the video. Glad to have you here. Today, we'll be talking about a Creation Club mod, the Ebony Plate. And I have always been a very big fan of Ebony weapons and armor, so I am really looking forward to trying this mod out. I decided, you know what, let's get some more Todd Bucks and see what happens. Okay, so let's see what this armor is all about. Includes four pieces of light, heavy Ebony armor as featured in the Elder Scrolls Blades. And there also is a quest to obtain this armor. And for some reason, this really confuses me and I have no clue why. Four pieces of light, heavy ebony armor. I don't know why that just really confused me, but anyways, let's take a look at the gallery here and see what we have in store for us. And honestly, I think this armor looks pretty good. It looks like it's seen a few battles. It's not all nice and shiny. And actually, I think this picture would probably do it most justice. Okay, now that we have an introduction of what we are getting into, let's head inside of Skyrim and check this armor out for ourselves. As soon as you load into Skyrim, there's going to be a courier that greets you and shoves a letter in your hand. So I'm not going to read the entire note here to you guys. I am just going to give you the quick cliff notes. Apparently, there was somebody who was an orphan many years ago. And they took a band of misfits and rogues and turned them into some sort of elite pack. But everybody called them thieves and bandits. And in response to that, she's like, well, so is the bandit who starves people and soldiers go raping and pillaging towns. And this person doesn't want to be judged by the Empire. So apparently they know us and know their story. And if there's going to be some sort of judge, juror, executioner, we are it. But... In order to deem us worthy, they are sending us to Windhelm, the docks, to pass a test. And the test is going to be given to us by a beggar who's going to offer us a few things. Some of them which she thinks we're going to choose, such as bread, wine, or gold. So, I'm really curious to go see this here, the test that's going to be given to us. And speaking of which, here is our target now. Let's see, I brought you some wine, here's some gold, here's a lot of gold. Uh, but instead of all this, I will pray for you. Honestly, if I was in this type of situation, I'd be like, please hand me some wine. I could really use it. So my first instinct was to go for the prayer. But, you know, I'm going to give this guy the wine. And I'm not for sure if it's the exact right answer or even if the, adder or the answer matters. So we gave him what he needed, I think. Now we were sent right across from Windhelm up this hill. As you can see, there's a stable. And I think we answered wrong. Okay, so I don't mind. We have to battle somebody to get our armor. Nothing new. And let's see here. That was actually a little bit more easier than I thought it would be. Let's see what our reward is, shall we? Let's see. Here's the armor. Increases health by 50. Not bad. Um, stamina stamina rejects 50% faster. One hand attacks do 30% more damage. Heavy armor skills increased by 20. Not bad. And also we get two ebony swords. They are not enchanted, which I don't mind whatsoever, but I've always liked the ebony armor and the sword. So now I want to go put this to the test and see how we actually do and how the armor holds up. I'm assuming since we are wearing heavy armor, we can take a little bit more abuse than the other armors. Also, I am very uh, happy to dual wield weapons. I haven't done that in so long because I'm so used to using like a great sword. Or maybe stepping back once in a while and using a bow or even casting spells just to mostly heal myself up. But it's been a while since I've dual wield, so it actually feels pretty good. And let's see here. These swords actually feel pretty strong as is. So I think when I get an opportunity, I am going to enchant them and see how strong they can actually get. Okay, so that's one bandit. She has a great axe. Looks like iron. Let's see. Let's kill her before she can hit us because that's going to hurt no matter what type of armor we are wearing. And I took a couple of hits. I'm not going to bother the hill up. I just want to go see how many NPCs I can kill in here before I die. And I think this bandit is the last one. Ooh, we gave him the business, didn't we? And I did take some damage, but I expect that. But the armor seems pretty solid. So if you have an opportunity to get this armor, I recommend that you do. It's only 100 Todd bucks, which isn't too bad. Alright guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video today, and if this is your first time visiting the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, and then smash that like button. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.